Hi and welcome to uh, the lesson on series. Okay, so a series is basically a sequence, a sum of the terms in a sequence. Okay, so um, the formula that we use for a series is Sn which just means we're going to sum up the first n terms of a series. So we're going to take the first term plus the second term plus the third term and uh, continue in this manner until we get to the nth term. So for example, if I have the the simple arithmetic series given by 1, 2, 3, 4 and I were to call each one of these T1, T2, T3 then S10 would be 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 all the way up to plus 9 plus 10 S10 would represent the first 10 terms okay let's use Another example, let's look at, uh, let's go 2, 4, 8, 16, etc. And then let's take S5. S5 would then be the first five terms. So 2 plus 4 plus 8 plus 16 plus 32. S5 would be the sum of those terms and you would get an answer for it, same as you would in the previous one. You would get an answer and that would be the value of S10, which means a seek series is the sum of the terms in a sequence. Okay, so if let's say a term Tn is given by 3k uh, or I'll oh, choose a k if we have an n as the term number, n minus 1. And we are asked to find s4. It would be simply that s4 is equal to the first four terms, t1, t2, t3, and t4. For each of these terms, we substitute the term position. So t1, we substitute a 1. 3 times 1 minus 1 gives me 2 plus t2 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 is 5 plus t3 3 times so I'm just substituting in the n's position every time 3 times 3 is 9 minus 1 is 7 uh, no sorry 8 okay and I can see I'm actually adding 3 every time which is that value okay um, but the next term, whether I f add a 3 or substitute 4 in here, I'll get 11. 3 times 4 is 12, minus 1 is 11. And this answer would give me, hmm, well, this is interesting to note, that 11 and 2 gives me 13, which is the same answer that 5 and 8 gives me also 13. So 2 times 13 is 6, 26. 26. And you'll actually notice that for an arithmetic sequence, and this comes later, but I'll just give it now. For an arithmetic sequence, um, I can simply add up the first and the last term. First term is A, the last term, let's call it L. Add them together, and then divide by multiply that by the number of terms divided by 2. So here we had 4 terms divided by 2 gives me 2. 2 times the sum of the first and the last gave me 26. Okay, don't worry about this formula, it's coming later. Okay, for now just understand that a sequence added up is called a series. And the index of the series, that base, determines just how many of the terms I've added up. Okay, one more, maybe a little bit more tricky example. Uh, let's say we are given 
S21 uh, as let's say uh, 307 and S22 as 301 and we are asked to find the 21st term well if I've how did I get uh, sorry not the 21st the 22nd term okay how did I go from this term to that term okay s22 I get by adding the first 22 terms which means I've added the first 21 and the 22nd term and therefore I simply say oh but I know these values S22 is 307 S21 am I right S22 is 301 I apologize uh, 301 S21 is 307 so and I simply solve the equation okay in other words I see that T22 is actually a negative value of negative 6 and there we go hmm. that's what I wanted to do today hope you enjoyed it and if I went too quick watch it again